I couldn't help but want to talk more with Walter Patton, a 33-year-old resident who's seen the evolution of this neighborhood and the relationship with law enforcement firsthand. How do we work together? That is the premise of this conversation. And I'm pushing us to get there very quickly, but in reality, while we're moving quickly today, we don't have no more time to waste to get where we're going. So the question that I lay in front of you all is how can we do that together? The demographics of this community is 18 through 35, and I think that we need more younger officers who can kind of gravitate to the younger crowd instead of doing it the older way. No disrespect to the older officers, but we need to see more successful cops, like that's our age. So if you're a young person growing up in, that, in this neighborhood, you know, it could be seen as a negative thing if you chose to go into law enforcement. Which, how do you shift that? I think, more, I think more events like this, to where the officers are seen, and more events to where they don't have to wear their uniforms and just show up as regular, as regular citizens. You still need to be identified as an officer, because you need to know that that's an officer doing good. I had so many people walk up to me and just say thank you, and not that I needed to be thanked, but it was nice to see positivity. I didn't have to see negativity. I wasn't there to deal with any crimes or anything that was going on. It was just nice to sit there and talk to people on positive notes. In a lot of different communities, you talk about police brutality and police killing, but in this community, I had never witnessed a police officer shoot somebody or hurt somebody. I couldn't help but want to talk more with Walter Patton, a 33-year-old resident who's seen the evolution of this neighborhood and the relationship with law enforcement firsthand. Walter, you're from here and grew up in the area. Mm -hmm. What changes have you noticed, I guess, since your childhood to now, when we're talking about police interactions with the community? The level of involvement has increased. And they're showing up in places like rec centers, football games, schools, and different events where the kids are, and showing that they are regular, and showing that they're not here to hurt anybody, versus just pulling up on them, being aggressive, and asking what they're doing. What did you think when you saw someone in uniform? like? get out of here, it's a bad situation, I yeah. did something wrong. Yeah, like the uniform was automatically a sign of fear. Like we seen things on TV that when we thought we seen officers that they were gonna harm us. It's a reflective mood in the van ride home. One day might not change a decades long strain, but it was clear that for these officers and for Joe, it's a start. We had a young lady walk up and say, you know, before this, I used to think all officers intended to do was kill. Wow. Right, and that was her perspective. And, and it, you have to be clear when you do this work, people's views are their truth. So you can't believe anything that you don't know. 